In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from kilogram per cubic meters to kilonewton per cubic meters. So as you can see, we have an example here on the screen, 1770 kilogram per cubic meters, and we want to convert it to kilonewton per cubic meters. So in order to do this conversion easily and quickly, first, you need to know that for each one kg of a body, we have 9.8 one newton of force that is being exerted on it and also for each one kn that is one kilo newton we have a thousand newton so with that being said let's do the conversion quickly so to do this conversion first let's express it in this form 1770 kg over cubic meters so we put the cubic meters as denominator. So now we're going to multiply it by 9.81 Newton over 1 kg, because in every 1 kg, we have 9.81 Newton. So through this way, we can you know, cancel the kg unit so that we'll be left with uh, Newton and cubic meters. So now, in order to get rid of the, the Newton unit, so that it becomes uh, kilonewton, we're going to multiply again by one kilonewton over 1,000 Newton. So, because in every one kilonewton, we have 1,000 Newton. So now, through this way, we can cancel these uh, units. And now we're left with kilonewton numerator and the cubic meters denominator. So now we can multiply and divide it in order to get the answer. So let's use a calculator. We have uh, 177 zero times 9.81 which is uh, 17363 so divided by 1000 so as you can see the answer is 17.3637 so our answer is 17 point three six approximately you know kilonewton per cubic meters so now let's do another example let's say that we have two five zero eight kilogram uh, cubic meters. And when I convert it to kilonewton uh, cubic meters, so first we're going to express it in this form. Making the cubic meters unit the denominator. Now we're going to multiply by 9.81 Newton over 1 kg and also multiply by 1 k n, which is 1 kilonewton, over 1000 Newton. So this unit is going to cancel this unit, and also this unit is going to cancel this unit. So we are left with kilonewton by cubic meters. So now we can Use our calculator to get a final answer. So we have 2508 times 9.81 divided by a thousand. So the answer is 24.81. Six zero approximately, so twenty four point 
0.60 kilonewton uh, cubic meters. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Bye.